Hi, I'm Sarah Calgill, along with Andrew Moran, Dave Patterson, Graham Noble, and John Clark. And this is the Conservative Five, an online TV news production of Liberty Nation News. We are back to have a little bit of fun with the panel of curmudgeons and comics. Play along, as the adage goes, if you can't beat them, join them. It's the C5 Game of Trivia, brought to you by Liberty Nation News' own Kristen Brooker. And Andrew Moran is on the game board to walk us through this most difficult segment. Christy Booking, boo! Anyway, so welcome everyone to the hottest game show on the World Wide Web. There is no debate about this. I think that, to be very honest with you, I do believe that we have rightly believed, but we certainly believe that certain issues are just settled. Certain issues are just settled. And that's why I do believe we are living, sadly, <laughs> in real unsettled times, whereby the Conservative Five Just for Fun is the greatest game show on the internet. Greatest. Now, somebody on to give, the really somebody big- Somebody give Andrew a pager. Quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> now, on to the really big show, and I will depend on Mr. Claronomics to uh, uh, keep score for everyone at home. So, question number one. <laughs> as part of Donald Trump's anti-tax platform, he announced on September 12th that he would work to eliminate taxes on property ownership, overtime, overtime pay, and food and beverages. Overtime, one for me. The only one I'll get. But I like the idea time. where we just, well, we say we, we say the question, provide the answers, and then someone picks the answer. I like Graham's gentleman approach. So anyway, question number two, John is leading so far. He's one on the board. Uh, question number two, a month ago, Google went to court. Hey, I wrote this article. Google went to court over an alleged monopoly of web search space and was found guilty. Now, Google must return to court to fight the same fight, but this time regarding disinformation, the dark web, or their advertisement strategies. And B. for this, I will go to find. Disinformation. C. Advertising strategy. Yes, that is correct. Dave and John want a piece. Gosh, me and Graham just sitting here. It's you and me, Sad. Mr. Hammer. Sad, pathetic. I'm the Hammer. I'm having a team because together the hammer. we're Let's probably pretty good. Put them in between, Dave. You get them. Go ahead. I live, I this for, I live for Andrew's articles. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, our audience obviously lives for Kristen Brooker's trivia article. I think Apparently, it does. <laughs> Never me. Never the economics man. So question number three. What is celebrated from September 15th to October 15th? Is it African Americans, Hispanics, or the 2SLGTQIAP plus community? B, Hispanics. Yeah. So has, uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Dave has two. Okay, this, I love this question. Kirsten, did I write this? But I, I will... Uh, I, I just, this is my question. Graham's going to know this one. I know for sure. My bet is on Graham. You're going to get this. What central bank recently cut the amount of cash banks need to have on hand by 50 basis points, effectively injecting tens of billions of dollars in the economy? And for this, I'm going to go actually to Sarah for this question. She's going to, is it the Federal Reserve, the Bank of Canada, or the People's Bank of China? Federal the Reserve. The People Bank of China. I was right. Graham got it. Yeah, go Graham. <laughs> I thought that I was Sarah's question. Answer. I, I was thought... going to answer. I, 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 Canada would never do such a thing. Oh, Canada. So I knew it had to be China. But didn't you set Sarah up to answer the question, and then you did, and then you know I got cut out. I'm <laughs> sorry, Sarah. It's it's anarchy here today. It, it is. It's just it's crazy. society. It's anarchy. I'm, I'm trying to moderate, but I can just keep <laughs> score. Dave's ahead. That's all, that was a Seinfeld reference, by the way. Just, you know, I got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so question number, I believe it is question number five. Uh, John, you should correct me if I'm wrong. No, that's correct. You're on five. Okay. All right, so not only are electric vehicles more expensive to purchase and repair, they're also 20%. Hey, I also wrote this article. They're also 20% more costly to ship, 
tow or insure? Insure. That is correct. Dave wow. has three on the board. And, and, and the reason well, I I'll never that, own one. Is, is <laughs> the reason I know that is because a not only did I read your article, but uh, a neighbor said a neighbor was bitching and moaning about how his insurance went up not twenty percent but forty percent when he got this stinking thing that he can't keep charged. Off of the immediate subject of electric vehicles, but onto the subject of better performances in the C five quizzes. You have a background in political campaign stuff, so you probably do know Donna Brazil. Why don't you get her to give you the answers in advance? Maybe. I can also read upside down, and uh, I'm pretty crafty, little political operative that I was. <laughs> However, that's cheating. I don't cheat. You guys do. Heck, Andrew cheats all the time, but nope. <laughs> Dave cheats by reading every article on the site, so there you go. But eh, I'll think about it. Well, I was going to go talk about motor vehicle insurance, <laughs> C-Power, but no, nobody seems to care. So I'm just going to move on then to question number, I believe it is question number six. <laughs> uh, who did Chris Cuomo criticize on his show Cuomo for their responses, or lack thereof, to the second assassination attempt against Trump? Did, or did he uh, criticize NBC and Fox News? Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or Trump's security B. team? B. It was B. He criticized the president and his mate. That is correct. President and his mate? That is correct. We so, John, how are we doing on the scoreboard? BP Harris. I think we all know that Mr. Hammer has cracked the anvil and uh, is the far above leader there's no need to ask any more questions even well i've been told to cheat to so i'm okay, gonna cheat i have time. three more questions here we're gonna move on here okay so what organization opted to not endorse any presidential candidate in this stars. yes there you go well done well done sarah well done for shouting thank you i'm on the board sarah's on the board, on the board. Woo. Woo. The i'm number one question. i have a feeling everyone knew the answer to that question so good <laughs> yeah. to for shouting out i had to uh, next question second last question here uh, how many migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela does the Biden administration's humanitarian parole program permit into the country each month? Is it up to 10,000, up to 20,000, or up to 30,000? 30, 30,000. Oh, goodness gracious. Can we just mic Dave? I don't want to hear Dave anymore. I, I don't want to hear him get all the answers right all the time. I just want to... When, when, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe that when I heard that. I thought... This can't, be, can't right. be right. This it's, can't it's, be right. It's a stunning number. It's a stunning it number. I'm yeah. surprised there's anyone left in Cuba. So this is the last question. You will know the answer if you listen to me during one of our C5 segments, but I, but I got completely ignored. So let's see if you guys know this. Who said this? Quote, Mars is essentially in the same orbit. Mars is somewhat the same distance from the sun, which is very important. We have seen pictures with where there are canals. We believe and water. There is water. Is that salad that server? There is, if, if, if there is water, that means there's oxygen. If there's oxygen, that means we can breathe. Who said this? Was Come it? All Harris, probably. No, it sounds like the salad girl. All right. Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, or Dan Quayle? Oh, it was. I'm going to say Dan Quayle. Yeah, it was Dan Quayle. <laughs> it was Dan Quayle. <laughs> but what he. That was just before he said, and for those of you who can't spell uh, tomato, uh, <laughs> that was potato. It was yeah, potato. Uh, tomato, potato, you know. <laughs> you say tomato, shark I say tomato. You say potato, I say potato. Okay, tomato, I think tomato, we are over. You guys drank for breakfast. Is that the Statchmo? Uh, All right, who won? Yeah, who won? We gotta like wrap audio. this up. <laughs> Audio blackface. <laughs> uh, I oh. would say that we all know who won. Decisively, Dave. Dave. Scary got Dave. More points than all the rest of us combined. But we all know. We all, we all know the real winners, though, were viewers who got to see beautiful Sarah. Kelly. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Right. That's that's my that's my signal to get out of this mess <laughs> that I have created. A circle of hell I created, and I'm walking away. So thanks, folks. We hope you ended on a high note. After a weird show, hopefully you at least had some fun and thanks for playing again.
that's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform. YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble, we're on them all. As well, Liberty Nation News has its own Roku channel where you can see all of our TV productions. Now, Liberty Nation does not endorse candidates, campaigns, or legislation. And this presentation is no endorsement. I'm your host, Sarah Cowgill. Thanks for joining us today for free thinking, free speech, libertynation.com. <laughs>